The sputter coater is used to coat specimens for SEM with a thin layer of metal, usually gold or platinum. After venting the chamber, remove the safety shield and carefully lift the black lid, securing it in place by rotating it until it locks into position. Making sure that the bottom seal is held in place with your fingers, remove the chamber and the seals to a clean position on the side bench. Using a pair of stub forceps, load the sample holder with a specimen or specimens. Replace the glass chamber, check the top seal is in place and gently lower the black lid. Check that a good seal is made before gently tightening the vent valve. Measure the distance between the top of the specimen and the bottom of the platinum target. Use the knob to adjust the specimen stage so that the distance is 50 millimetres. Once the safety shield is replaced, you are ready to move on to the next stage, which involves evacuating the chamber using a rotary pump. Turn the sputter coater on at the wall switch and then turn the knob to RP to control the rotary pump before switching the rotary pump on at the main switch. This allows the electronics of the sputter coater to control the working of the rotary pump. Open the vacuum valve fully to begin the evacuation of the chamber. Wait until the vacuum on the vacuum gauge reads less than 0.2 Tor. This may take a few minutes depending on the nature of the sample that you intend to coat. When the required vacuum has been reached, turn on the argon gas cylinder. Do not adjust the regulator valve, simply turn the main gas valve a quarter turn anti-clockwise. Flush the chamber with high purity argon by opening the argon pressure control needle valve until the vacuum is reading about midway between 0.2 and 0.5 Tor on the gauge. Leave the valve in that position for about 10 to 15 seconds, then gently close it and allow the chamber to again pump to less than 0.2 Tor. Repeat the flushing procedure another two times to ensure that as much of the air as possible is removed from the chamber and replaced with high purity argon. Remember at all times to be extremely gentle with the needle valve and do not over tighten it. After the final flush, close the needle valve and wait for the vacuum gauge to read less than 0.1 Tor. Turn the power dial knob to HV, then press the check button in the centre panel and turn the iron current knob to 5. While still holding down the check button, open the argon pressure control needle valve and adjust it so that the iron current reading is stable at about 6 milliamps. Then release the check button. Turn the timer to on and use the wall clock to time the length of coating. Do not use the timer on the coater. During coating, monitor and readjust the argon pressure in the chamber with the argon pressure control needle valve to ensure the iron current remains at 6 milliamps. With the iron current set to 6 and the specimen distance set at 50 millimetres, the length of time 
dictates the thickness of the coating. When the time is up, turn the timer to zero, making sure it clicks into position. Turn the iron current to zero. Close the argon pressure control needle valve, again using gentle pressure. Then close the vacuum valve on the front panel fully. Turn off the argon gas cylinder. Then return to the sputter coater and set the power dial knob to RP. Next, vent the chamber slowly at a rate that is just audible. When venting is completed, remove the safety shield, lift the black lid and rotate it backwards to secure it in the locked position. Remove the chamber glass and finally remove the specimens and place them safely in a specimen holder. Next we carefully clean the chamber by removing the top and bottom seals and placing the glass on a piece of tissue to protect it. With a piece of moist tissue, rub the inside surface of the chamber to remove any metal that has been deposited on it. Blue nitrile gloves must be used for this process if the sputter coater has been used to coat with platinum. Clean the chamber thoroughly until no more metal is visible on the tissue. Make sure at all times to protect the bottom surface of the chamber from chipping on the hard sink surface. When the inside is thoroughly cleaned, we take a piece of clean tissue and add a few drops of detergent as a surfacent. This stops the sputtered metal from attaching directly to the glass surface. Use the tissue to polish the internal surface to ensure that only a thin layer of surfacent remains. Carefully replace the top and bottom rubber seals. Make sure that any contaminated tissue is placed in the bin. Wipe over the specimen holder using a tissue moistened with ethanol. Replace the specimen chamber and carefully lower the black lid, ensuring that a good seal is made before tightening the vent valve. Replace the protective shield, then open the vacuum valve and pump the chamber until it is less than 0.2 tor. When the required vacuum is reached, close the vacuum valve fully. Turn the power dial knob on the sputter coater to off, then immediately turn off the rotary pump switch at the power board.